Hey, watch fans, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And today I have for us three Grand Seikos that I pulled, uh, specifically because I wanted to take a look at the different dial textures. Uh, if you follow the channel, you know, several weeks ago when we got our first SBG H311 here on my left, uh, I did a review on that. And someone reached out and said, how does that compare to the Snowflake, the SBG A211 dial, which is here in the middle? Uh, and then I also thought, while I'm at it, let's grab a third. I have the SLGA009 in stock. Uh, I grabbed this one over the SLGH005 simply because I think the dial is a little bit more white. Uh, the 005 to me has more of a silver tint to it. So these are the three I grabbed today. Uh, let's just get right at it and take a closer look at these dials. I'm not going to go over the dimensions of every one of these watches. I will list those in the description. So if you want further uh, specs on the dimensions, please take a look at the description. Uh, I will list it there. So this, again, is the SBGH311 limited edition, 1,200 pieces. It's a 37-millimeter case. Uh, I did weigh it, 141.3 grams. And uh, obviously, stainless steel with that weight really just, uh, again... Looking at the dial textures, this is the first one of this kind for Grand Seiko. I am not going to pretend to know how they do it. Um, just reading through, uh, they use a process called electroforming. Um, it's just how they accomplish this dial, uh, this texture on the dial. But I, I really, really like it. Um, I just think in the different, it, it pops a little bit different than the other two here. Uh, when I show you, when the, the light hits it differently, uh, it's just not always the same um, kind of pattern or texture depending on the light and how it hits it so again trying to show you i'm actually going to take my light off too just to get it a little bit see if that yeah i think it's better with the light so we'll leave that on but again sbgh 311 limited edition and i'll throw these all on wrist but again kind of a, a white dial blued second hand this is using the high beat movement so uh the next two are spring drives so again, next up, the Titanium, the SBGA211 Snowflake. And since somebody asked specifically how these compared, I will try to get these both up on the same time for you to look at. Hopefully that gives you an idea and a good comparison, just the way I'm moving them. But again, both blued seconds hands, lovely markers and very sharp dolphin style hands. And again, the Snowflake's a 41 millimeter case, again, 37. And then I will show you the SLGA009 white birch here. Personally, again, just personal preference. All three of these are absolutely fantastic. These are my two. I, I like the Snowflake, but having these side by side, I feel like there's a little bit more light play. You have more of a matte dial on the Snowflake. Um, obviously, you still can see the texture there, but my preference is these two. And if I had to pick one of these, I'd have a really hard time picking one. I, I like them both, I think, depending on the day. But this new this new dial, I really like. I, I might give the slight nod to it. Um, however, when I throw these both on wrist, uh, which I will do here in a second, um, I do feel like I like the, the, the case. This is a 40-millimeter case on the 009. Um, overall, just the Evolution 9 series, um, the fit. Uh, a little bit thicker. Um, again, I'll list it in the description. I think this is 13 and a half, 13.6 millimeters thick compared to, uh, I believe, right around 12, if I'm not mistaken, on the uh, on the 009 here. The Snowflake comes in again. Oh, off memory, I want to say around 13, 12, 8 maybe, 12 and a half, 13, something like that. So the, the smaller watch is the thickest watch. Um, but again, I don't think it wears terribly bad because of it. So let me throw these all on wrist. And I didn't give you the weight. I gave you the weight on this one. Again, the 311 here was 141.3 stainless steel. The 211 Snowflake on Titanium was 100.1 grams, and the White Birch, 175.9. So again, six and three quarter inch wrist. I would absolutely wear this 37 millimeter watch. I'd have no issue wearing it whatsoever. Um, I believe, again, from memory here, lug to lug was around 44 millimeters. That'll all be listed in the description. Take a look. I actually think the case thickness, I know some were concerned about that. 
actually lends to wearing well. It feels a little bit more substantial on wrist because of the smaller size. And I'm okay with that. You know, I think if it was this thick at 40, 41, 42, I'd have a real issue with it personally. Uh, but at this size, I don't mind it. I really don't. Um, I quite like this model. I think they did a really nice job on it. And if you're not familiar with it, I love the rotor. So again, that's the SBGH 311. Next up, we got the Snowflake, the larger 41 millimeters. However, it's the lightest because of the titanium. So um, I will say, that, to me, this the least favorite for me, again, on my six and three quarter inch wrist. A little bit longer lug to lug. I think about a millimeter longer than the white birch model. Um, overall, could I wear it? Absolutely. The titanium makes it very wearable. It doesn't overhang. Um, you know, it really just comes down to personal preference. If you really like titanium, you're going to love this if you haven't had it on. It's obviously been out the longest as well. So... And then as far as a fit goes, I do think the 009 is my favorite. Would I love a tapered bracelet? Sure, but it just hugs the wrist. It really feels great. Um, I love, again, 12 millimeters from a distance. And the one thing, you know, listen, I get comments all the time. I love them. I, I chuckle about, you know, you must have tiny wrist. A six and three quarters, I'd say, is going to be slightly, you know, probably smaller than the average size. But um, I will say you got to remember you're always looking at these through um you know through literally 12 inches off my camera here so um if you're not sure if you have a similar size wrist go try to try them on somewhere if you can i always recommend trying them on um, and just seeing how they fit again I, I do like the way this looks and feels all three are fantastic and i hope that helps anyone who's uh, in the market maybe looking at these or looking at dials if there's anything I can do for you, I've rambled on long enough in this one. I hope to uh, have showed you some different dial textures. I know the someone who asked wanted to see the Snowflake compared to this 311. So thanks for viewing. If there's anything I can do for you, anything at all, if there's a video you want to see, a comparison I can do, just shoot me an email. Brad at BrentLMiller.com. If we have it in stock, I'm happy to help. We'll see you in the next one.